Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 things that you are doing wrong on your iPhone probably on daily basis. So here are 15 things that you should stop doing on your iPhone right away. First of all is cellular data. Leaving cellular data on for all of your apps is a big no-no. Especially if you have like a limited data plan, you should go ahead and configure which apps you want to use your data now you can do that by going to settings go to seller and he will find a list of all the apps you have installed on your device like for example there are a few games or apps that you don't need to have internet all the time so you don't want them to waste your data of course some of them will use data even in the background if you leave them open and of course that will consume your data and battery as well so you go ahead and configure right here which of the apps you want to allow to use your data so go ahead and enable or disable any of them from this list that you can find under settings and under the seller section Another thing you might be doing wrong on your iPhone is leaving access to like notifications or control center or stuff like that even if you have your device locked with face ID or touch ID or even just a passcode. So go to settings, go to face ID and passcode and then right here you will find a section that will say allow access when locked and you will find all of these things. So for example you might have like a reply with message. You leave that on somebody will be able to basically reply with the message even if your device is locked or like wallet you will have their siri notification center control center someone probably might even view your notifications you might have their message or something so go ahead and just basically disable all of these so you don't want anyone to take a look at your stuff even when your device is locked battery life is of course very very important for all iphone users and with iOS 13, Apple has added this new amazing feature which you can find under battery and then under battery health is called optimized battery charging. But I see a lot of people don't use this feature or disable it because they just want basically to charge their device the way they like, charge it always at 100% or anything they want to. But you can go ahead and enable this feature right here. And the wrong thing you might be doing is turning off this feature. This feature will basically extend the battery life of your of your iPhone. Basically, the battery will last much, much longer. The maximum capacity of the battery of your iPhone will decrease way slower. So you can see right here, I'm at 94%. Probably I had this iPhone like for like two years now. If I had like optimized battery charging from the beginning, probably it will be somewhere at around 97%. Battery optimized battery charging works really, really well and you should use it. Just basically bear with it like a week or so and it will learn basically it will learn your schedule and then will charge your iphone based on your needs so go ahead and turn on optimized battery charging the dark mode is of course one of the biggest features of ios 13. we have been very very excited for this new feature but i see a lot of people don't use it some of them even hate it so the wrong thing you're doing here is not using dark mode. Now this just looks good and of course it will be good for your eyes during nighttime, but it will also save battery on your iPhone. Now this has been tested and dark mode will extend the battery life of your iPhone because if you this of course only on devices that have the OLED display. You can see right here all the dark parts, basically everything you see black here, those are pixels that are turned off that way the display will use less power and of course that will extend the battery life of your iphone now if you don't like this during the day i understand but make sure you turn it on basically at night you can do that on the automatic there and you can go ahead and use it at night time Another thing you might be doing wrong on your iPhone is turning off auto brightness. Now you can turn that off by going to accessibility and then go to display and text size and right here at the bottom you will find auto brightness. Now turning this off will basically consume more battery on your iPhone. This is a great feature of iOS. Based on the environment light, it will turn up or down the brightness of your device. That way, when you're on a darker place, it will turn it basically down. And of course, that will save your eyes and the battery as well. I see a lot of people turn this off and just keep the brightness all the way up. That's very wrong to do. Of course, that will consume a ton of battery and that will be very, very bad 
for your eyes as well. Not closing Safari tabs at all is also a big no-no. I see a lot of people don't care closing tabs, they just open the new one every time they want to search for something or browse something and then they will have a ton of tabs open in the background. Of course, that will slow down Safari and even slow down your device if you have like an older device. So what you need to do is go ahead and go to settings. Now with iOS 13, that's very easy to do. Just go ahead, go to settings, go to Safari, and here you will find this section that says tabs. All you gotta do here is to go to close tabs and choose like after one week, one day, or even a month, or you can do that manually, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to have all the tabs stacking up there in the background. Just choose like a week and it will be closed automatically once a week is reached. Too many notifications is also bad for your device. You don't have to allow notifications for all the apps. Like if you go to notifications here under settings, you will see a list of all the apps. For most of them, you don't even need notifications to be on. They will be basically just send you like notifications that are probably even useless, you don't need them, go ahead and turn them off. This will of course consume data, consume battery as well on your device. So make sure you turn off notifications for all the apps that you don't need to have notifications on. Now something really really interesting is that most people think that closing apps from running in the background will be better and will preserve battery on their iPhone. But according to Apple that's wrong. You should leave apps on the background, basically in the app switcher. So apps will be basically just, let me put it like this, they, they will be paused in the background and then when you open them, they will be ready to use. Now, of course, I suggest that if you have like an app open that you use very rarely, like once in every three or four days or once a week, you don't want to leave that open. You go ahead and close that from the background. But if you have apps that you use daily, like your social media apps and all that, leave them open in the background because they will have them ready. They don't have to reload from the beginning every time you want to open them. Another very wrong thing to do on your iPhone is never backing up. Now it's very easy to back up your iPhone. You just go to settings, go to your iCloud, and from here you will find iCloud backup, go ahead and turn that on right there and you will be able to back up your iPhone directly from here. Now, if you don't want to do this, you can go ahead and back up from iTunes on your PC or Mac. Of course, just go ahead, connect your device, you will open iTunes and there you will find a backup button as easy as that. You will have all of your data backed up. In any case, you lose your iPhone or in any way you break your iPhone or something, you will have all of your data. As you probably know, Apple is constantly releasing new software updates. You can see right here we're on iOS 13.2 and Apple has released like five or six, I believe, updates to iOS 13 since it has been released and it hasn't even been two months yet. So constantly Apple is fixing bugs, some of them very serious bugs, security bugs and all that. So a very wrong thing to do is not updating your iPhone make sure you keep your iPhone always up to date. Of course, it will even work faster and will have all the new features and all the bugs that it has fixed, that that software update has fixed, will be fixed on your device as well. So make sure you keep your device updated. On the newest iOS versions, Apple has added this feature that I really don't like at all. If you go to your control center and turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, they are not really turned off. They will be just disconnected. So what I suggest you do is that not turn off the Bluetooth, especially the Bluetooth, just from the control center. Make sure you go to settings and you turn it off from here. So turn it off from the settings. That way it will be con completely turned off not just disconnected. Now keeping Bluetooth on will of course consume battery as it's always searching for devices nearby to connect. Another new feature on iOS 13 is voice control. You can see that little blue icon right there. Now this is a great feature if you need to control your iPhone with only your voice you can do that using this new feature. It's pretty amazing so you can see right there swipe right, swipe left, as you can see, just like that, you can control your iPhone 
that's really really cool but this will consume battery as this will always hear stay hearing for your voice so always ready there to hear your commands that of course will consume a ton of battery and decrease a bit of performance as well so you don't want to keep this on all the time probably you don't even need it most of the time so go ahead and turn it off you can do that from the accessibility section on the settings app Another big no-no is using fake charges. Never use fake charges on your iPhone. Now, I always charge my iPhone with the cable that came with it, the original Apple cable, though you can see this. I had this for like two years now. This is the one that came with this iPhone, the iPhone 10. So never use fake chargers to charge your iPhone. Another thing you might be doing wrong on your iPhone is not turning on auto lock. I see a lot of people turn off auto lock and that's really, really dangerous for your device. You just leave your iPhone somewhere and it will stay unlocked if you have auto lock disabled. So you go to settings, you go to display and brightness and right here you will find auto lock. Make sure to turn this on. So even if you forget your iPhone somewhere and it's unlocked after a minute or 30 seconds, it will automatically be locked that way all your stuff will be safe. Another thing you might be doing wrong on your iPhone is not setting up emergency SOS. So you have to set this up. So go to settings, go to emergency SOS and just tap right here, set up in set up emergency contact in health and that way you will be able to choose a contact that will be contacted automatically in case of an emergency. So make sure you have these two turned on then tap right here and from here you will be able to do that just go ahead and add any number you want you can go ahead and add an emergency contact from here just tap here it will take you to your contacts list just choose any contact you want and that will be the contact that will be automatically called if in case of an emergency so that's basically it for this video guys these are 15 things that you might be doing wrong on your iphone and hopefully this video will help you turn around all these things and do them better on your iPhone. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I will see you on the next one.